the internet uh, has a great promise and a great peril. The promise is that any device, any person, can communicate with any other person anywhere on Earth. And that's a tremendous asset for the world. But what it also presents is a peril. And the peril is anybody can attack and harm you from anywhere else on the planet. Networks keep getting faster and faster. It's on the order of every seven years or so, you see a 10x increase in network link speeds. So you have you know, much more traffic, much faster network traffic and thus many more threats. So we've got this problem that grows exponentially fast in two dimensions. What Centripetal does is we look at every available cyber threat intelligence resource that exists. The typical way that intelligence is used is in a forensic manner. What that means is a breach might happen at a customer's network and they don't know about it. So they bring in that intelligence to identify, well, did it happen after the fact? We're talking about a data pool of probably several hundred billion data points, which has to be distilled down to maybe several billion indicators. That cyber threat intelligence changes hugely all the time. So a hundred million rule protection policy that you put in place, an hour later it's going to be a little bit stale. We apply all of that to a choke point between the enterprise network that we're protecting and the internet all the cyber threats that are out there. So the rule gate is that gateway. The rule gate has the capabilities of loading mass amounts of threat intelligence. And then on the wire at light speed, it's able to instantly make a decision on whether to block or allow. It's a, a really important spec for us that we have to have decision times that are shorter than packet times. Otherwise, what happens? You don't have to be a mathematical genius to figure out that that would slow down the internet too and have a terrible impact. So you have to be able to meet that spec. No one else on the planet can do it. Things get known quickly. So for instance, like recently there was a log4j exploit the threat uh, adversaries, pick up on it and start attacking immediately. We can actually, from our vantage point, see how it disseminates through our threat intel partners. And we also see how attacks are happening across our customers. Our customers see that they don't have access to the data that we do at the speed at which we have it. The analytics that we're getting from the device is, this traffic is on your network, right? These are things that are happening right now in your environment. And so if you don't have great analytics, you can't really effectively do your job. We're shielding over 250 million events every single day across our customers. They don't only pay for the device that is protecting their network, they also pay for an analyst who, this is 100% of what that person does. When you tell a customer, hey, look at what we've done in the last 24 hours, we've blocked 79 and a half million known threat actor events to your network, that's saying a lot. You'd have to hire hundreds of people for it to be their full-time job to do what Clean Internet does. An idea is one thing. A notion of how something could happen is another. But to try to create it and then to implement it and make it work is a huge undertaking. It takes not just one, but a bunch of really brilliant people to do that and pull that off. Security implemented rightly should be just something that you don't even have to think about. It's just works, it's there. And not a major concern for businesses and individuals in this world.